Hey, yeah, uh, welcome back. So we have to talk about for loops. A for loop repeats a section of code a limited amount of times. Here's an example. Let's say that we would like to count the numbers one through 10. So we can actually write a for loop to do that for us. And here's how to create one. Type for a set of parentheses, then a set of curly braces. Anything within this set of curly braces, we can repeat a limited amount of times. But before we do so, there's a few statements we have to add to our for loop. There are three. The first is that we need some sort of counter or index. And we can actually declare that within the for loop. So we will declare an index, int index, and set this equal to some number, let's say one. So we will start at one and count to 10, and then finish the statement with a semicolon. Now, a common convention is that a lot of people will shorten index to i because it's easier to work with. So this is the first statement, there's two more. And the second statement is a condition. How long should we continue repeating this code? So let's continue this for loop as long as i, our index, is less than or equal to 10. And then add a semicolon at the end. So that is the second statement. And the third statement is that we can increment or decrement our counter. So let's take i and increment it by one after each iteration by using i++. So let's just test this. So print f. I'll just print the word test. So this should print the word test 10 times. Uh, then we should add a new line character at the end. That's much better. OK, now let's replace test with a format specifier. We're displaying an integer. And let's display i, our index. And this should count from 1 to 10. Yep, just like that, one through 10. So with this third statement, we can increment or decrement by one or a greater number. So this time let's count by two. So we can set this to i plus equals two. And we will now count up by two starting from one. One, three, five, seven, nine. Or how about three? One, four, seven, 10. You can also decrement. This time let's count it from 10 to one. So let's set i to equal 10. And we will continue this as long as i is greater than or equal to 1. And we will decrement i minus minus. So this will count from 10 to 1 and then stop. Or we could count down by 2. i minus equals 2. Then we have 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Or even 3 or a greater number. So yeah, that's a for loop. It repeats a section of code a limited amount of times. There's up to three statements that we can add. We can declare an index, a counter, so to say, some condition that we check after each iteration, and then some way to increment or decrement our index, and then place any code you would like to repeat within a set of curly braces. So yeah, that's a for loop. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are four loops in C.